Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 156. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Magic Trick 155 to 167. Hey, in this magic trick, we want to create a list here of items from list 2 that are not in list 1. So we need to somehow compare these two lists find the items from this list that are not there and then list them here and have it as a dynamic formula. Really what we want is uh, we'd want Sue here because she's not over there, Chin because he's not over there, and Mo because he's not over there somehow on this list. Now I got a, as I've said many times before, uh, the Mr. Excel discussion board is amazing. The smartest Excel people in the world hang out there and uh, the solution I got is from a guy named Aladdin there. You can click on this link and actually go look over here. And you can see the, the post I made. Uh, here's the post I made. Clearly stated the question. If you clearly state the question, there are people just waiting all around the world to answer your question. Got a great some VBA code from Latchmaker. Uh, got a great formula solution from Aladdin out there in the Hague. So all sorts of amazing things. Mr. You have to join, sign up, and uh, then you're allowed to ask questions. You won't believe it. You should try it. All right, let's see uh, uh, how to do this. First, we need to count the number of items that are unique here. Hey, we're going to try right off the bat. Let's just do match because we know match will give us uh, I if there's a value here that's over there. So I'm going to type equals match. And I'm going to ask, hey, all these, are any of those here? And I'm going to have to use a zero because we're looking up words. It's an exact match. Now, um, let's just highlight this and use our F9 key and see what this gives us. See, this gives us 11NANA45. So the match returns the row that it's in. But real, what really what we're after is the NA. So we want that one, that one, and that one to say true. I'm going to control Z. So now let's just put is NA around this. I'm sorry, what we want is uh, the number because we're uh, trying to find the, the actual match. So is number, and then we'll uh, that's a true false, and this will convert those uh, numbers to true. So if I highlight that and hit F9, you can see it's true, true, false, false, false. Now, Control Z. Now, if we subtract 1 from that, I'm sorry, 1 minus that, that will convert all of the trues to falses and falses to true. Now, this is a clever construct for is false. So I'm going to highlight all this and see what happens there. Hit F9. Oh, there it is. So to count them now, all we need to do is either a sum function um, and enter it as an array or sum product. I'm going to control Z. I'm going to use sum product. This is just the method that Aladdin gave. All right, and then you don't even have to hit control enter because some product will do this array stuff without hitting control shift enter. So I'm just going to hit enter. And there it is, three. Now we need to create a formula here. And we're going to start off because we want some blanks when it gets past three. We're going to say equals if rows. And we're going to say from F2 because that's where we're sitting right now. Dollar sign F dollar sign two. I actually only need the dollar sign in front of the uh, two because we're going down. Colon F two. This rows as we go down it will increment one two three four five. And then we want to ask is that less than or equal to? And I'm going to get the cell and I can't click on that cell right there, so I'm going to click right there and then back arrow. And then I'm going to hit F four twice to lock it going down. So that's the true false. And if it's true, we want to do index. Because remember, we need to find somehow in this list here the unique value. So we're going to try index. Remember, when you're doing big, long formulas, these screen tips are pretty handy. And what we're looking up is this. And I'm going to have to hit F4 and lock it in all directions because it's a range we'd always lock. And now we need to somehow create a row number. Now, we saw a moment ago how we could get either uh, the the values that are in that list or the values that are not in that list. And really what we need is something like if the values here are not in this list over here, then please uh, return a row number. So let's see. And actually this trick we're going to do right here we saw in magic trick number 117 when we did a reverse two-way lookup. So we're going to say 
small if, because remember our idea is if it's not here, then please give us the row number. And we're going to say if. And now we're going to do a slightly different uh, construct than before. Instead of is number, we'll do is n a, and then match. And we'll say, hey, all of these, and we need to lock those, comma. Are any of these over here? And we'll lock those ones, comma, 0, because we're doing an exact match. So is an a, and we'll close that out. And we could see that right now this will give us a bunch of the is n a match. It'll tell us uh, where are the n a's here, which are in essence saying those are the unique values. So I'm going to hit F9 just to see. Oh, true, true. So this one, Sue, and Chin are not over here. And that's correct. Control Z. Now what do we want? If we have our true falses now, now we need the row number. So we'll do comma, row. And this will give us a uh, row, since we're in row 2, it would be 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm going to have to lock that. But we need to minus, because really what we want is 1, 2, 3, et cetera. So we uh, subtract that one and F for it. So this one will give us 2, 3, and this will subtract a 2 from the 2 and a 2 from the 3. So that will give us 0, 1, 2, and then we need to add one more. All right, now um, we can see that we got right here if you hit uh, F9 you can see you got your 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 which when m uh, matched with this match part if true false now that's the um, row number so really what we've asked are they uh, what items are not over there then return the row values I'm going to control Z and now we can finish this off I'm going to close uh, uh, comma and now we need to do the small array and the reason why we did the small is remember we need to find the uh, first smallest then the next smallest and then the next smallest after that so what we really want is this rows here and then we'll close out on the and this is where the screen tips come in handy you can see that you need to close off the parentheses for that and now it's asking us for the index but we don't need that because we don't need a column number so close that out and now it's asking for the if, and that's uh, now the blank that we need. So comma blank, and then close parentheses. And that'll work. Control, Shift, Enter, and then copy it down. And there it is, Su Chin Mo. And we can test it if we come over here uh, to Fred and type Su. Now, uh, because they're both here, um, Sue and Sue, it's not showing up here. Now let's go back to this Fred, because really, no, Fred's not here, but it's not supposed to be, because we're only trying to uh, return the unique values from here. But when we uh, typed in Fred here, that made Sue a unique item over here. So there you go. We'll see you next trick.